And here in Chicago, the city is moving forward with its plans for tent cities to house migrants, signing a nearly $30 million contract with a company to build and run them. It turns out another big city rejected that same company. CBS2 is always investigating and we've obtained the contract. Our Maribel Gonzalez has been digging into it and joins us live from City Hall tonight. Maribel. Yeah, Erica, this contract is meant to help the city move the more than 2,000 migrants still sleeping on the floors of our area's airports and police stations out of those places and into tents. However, some are raising concerns about the company that is being tasked to do just that. The city of Chicago is turning to a third party company to help with its migrant crisis. This week announcing a more than $29 million one year term contract with Garda World Federal Services to help build tent base camps for the new arrivals. The 151 page contract doesn't spell out where these camps will go up, but it does outline what they could look like. They could either be soft or hard side yurt style tents with 12 sleeping cots each with storage lockers, fire and smoke detectors inside. There will also be sanitation tents, which include wash, restroom, a shower and laundry facilities, kitchen trailers as well, with AC units and water pump systems on site. The contract even includes a breakfast, lunch and dinner menu that will be served to the migrants. Internet and basic medical services will also be available. The migrants who arrive will go through a seven step intake process. Documents show all of this could cost as much as $7.2 million a month, depending on the location and size. The contract comes with many amenities, but also controversy. In July, the mayor's office in Denver, Colorado, withdrew its $40 million contract with Garda World. My concern is I don't believe they have experience of the in, working with the people from the inside. The Denver Post reported the move came after advocates there criticized the company for a history of, quote, alleged abuses and mistreatment and lack of experience in sheltering migrants. The publication also points to allegations of poor living conditions at Fort Bliss in Texas, where Garda World has contracts with the federal government to provide services to migrant unaccompanied minors. We reached out to Garda World for comment on these concerns as well as the mayor's office, but we have yet to hear back from either one. Reporting live from The Loop, Maribel Gonzalez, CBS2 News. All right, Maribel, thank you.